Hi everyone, it's Pastor Susan again this Thursday after Easter Sunday as we continue to think about being resurrection people in the liminal space, the space in between that we are finding ourselves in right now. And so today I want to share um, the meditation today on uh, something that I wrote in my book, The Daily Grind, God with Your Coffee. And it has to do with our scripture reading for today. The quote that I'm thinking about is uh, one by James Baldwin that says, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. We call Peter a saint, and yet when we look at his life, Peter falls far short of what some of us might think of as saintly behavior. A burly, outspoken, impetuous, impulsive fisherman Peter is probably remembered best for his cowardly denial of Jesus when it really mattered. When the rubber met the road, when Jesus needed him the most, at a time he vowed to stand with him even to the death, Peter denied he even knew him. I can only imagine the depression that Peter must have had following Jesus' crucifixion and death. The guilt, the shame, the disappointment in himself, the feeling that his life was over. Even with hearing the good news of Jesus' resurrection, I wonder if Peter had any feeling of dread. After all, it had Jesus had risen from the dead, there would be no doubt a reckoning. If Jesus was alive, Peter would have to face him again. What would he say? What would he do? Nothing would be the same. Seeing Christ would mean facing himself. And that wasn't a place that Peter necessarily wanted to go. You know, there are times when I feel that way too. Times when I have, by my thoughts, words, or actions, denied my relationship with Christ. And the shame and guilt become so great that all I want to do is hide. The last thing I want to do is come face to face with it. Come face to face with Jesus. So I work hard. I find plenty of things to do to fill my life so that I don't have to do that harder work of reflection and repentance. I deny there's a problem, and I hope it'll go away, but it never does go away. Like a festering sore underneath the surface of the skin, it is still there with its poison. But the story tells us that Peter didn't allow his shame, guilt, or even his fear of judgment to keep him from Jesus. John 21 tells us of an encounter that Jesus and Peter have back in Galilee, the place where God called Peter for the very first time. Peter was fishing, and a man, Jesus, was on the shore grilling fish. They had been fishing all night with nothing to show for it. It must have been what seemed like a moment of deja vu, the man on the shore calling out to the fishers to cast their nets onto the other side, and when they oblige, the catch is more than the boat can hold. Peter recognizes the man as Jesus, and the next thing we know, he's jumped in the water and he's swimming ashore. He and Jesus have a conversation over breakfast where Peter once again receives the call to discipleship. There is no rehashing over what has happened, no begging for forgiveness, no harsh words of judgment, just a question. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And then a command, feed my sheep. Friends, we cannot change what has happened. We can't go back and fix it. We have all denied Christ at one time or another. The question is, what will we do with it? Will we separate ourselves from God, hiding from the wrath or the truth of brokenness and pain, continuing to live in denial that we know Christ or even the denial that keeps us from knowing ourselves? Or will we, like Peter, jump in the water and have breakfast with Christ? Will we confess our sin? and allow God's forgiveness to wash over us like the baptismal waters of the Galilee that morning as Peter came face to face with himself and his Lord. Because if we do, we need to come clean. We need to come clean and face ourselves and allow God to do God's work on us from the inside out. Only then can we move from denial to growth, from being stuck to moving forward with purpose from death to life. Will you have breakfast with Jesus this morning? I hope you jump in the water 
and come on with me. The fire's warm and the fish smells really good.